Hey everyone, I'm Julio Ramon, product manager here at ICANN, and today we are going to focus on the Remote Air 2 by PD Movie. So the Remote Air 2 is a wireless lens control system that is available in a single or dual channel option. Now the single channel option comes with one receiver motor and the dual channel option comes with the same receiver motor plus an additional standard motor. Now each system comes in its own travel hard case and inside you get three glow-in-the-dark marking discs, a couple of short antennas, and a large antenna, a DTAP to LIMO power cable, a USB to LIMO power cable with a USB wall adapter, a PD Movie lanyard, and finally the dual channel option comes with a Limo Daisy chain cable. Now each hand unit is slightly different. The single channel only has one knob used to control your focus. The dual channel unit comes with a focus knob as well as an inner ring that you can use to control your iris. Both of these units come with a quarter 20 located on the bottom used to attach your lanyard and an additional quarter 20 mount located behind the unit that you can use to attach a wireless monitor or any other kind of accessory. Both units also have an OLED screen that tells you your battery voltage, your battery life, your channel selection, and signal strength. Each hand unit has a transmission distance of up to 100 meters which is equivalent to about 328 feet. They communicate to the receiver motor. Now each motor weighs about six ounces or 170 grams. The receiver motor also has an OLED screen that shows you the same information as the hand unit. So today I'm gonna to show you how both of these systems work and I'm going to use the Canon C300 Mark II to do that. Now each motor can be adapted to either 19 or 50 millimeter rods. A step down ring here on the rod mount allows you to do that. Our system today is set up for 19 millimeter rods, so we're going to pop the 15 millimeter ring out. Now I'm going to place the receiver motor onto the focus ring. Tighten that down. Now, since the receiver is built into the motor, we don't have to mount anything else to this rig. The only thing we need to do now is run power to the motor. We'll use the DTAP to Limo cable. We will plug right in to the motor and then I'll run the DTAP cable back to this Pro battery on the back of the rig. So for this setup here, I'm going to use the single channel hand unit. First, what I need to do is power on the motor. There's a button located underneath the motor. You simply press and hold, and the motor will come on. Now you'll know the motor is on. When you see the OLED screen light up, you will get all your data and information on that screen there. And you'll notice a small indicator light here located on the back. Now right now, it's set to red. Red is the color used for focus. If we were to mount this motor onto the iris ring, we would want to change that to green. Now to change channels, we simply double tap the same power button below, and now the indicator light turns green. That lets the hand unit know that we are mounted on the iris. Now if you double tap that same button, the indicator light turns blue. Now the blue is used for cine zoom lenses, and you only need to use that channel when you're using the Remote Air Pro 3 channel system, not for the Remote Air 2. So, since we're mounted on the focus ring, we want to set it to red. So we will tap that twice, and we are now in red. 
Now the single channel hand unit only has two buttons. First you have your on off button, which doubles as your wireless channel button. And below you have the nerve button, which is used to calibrate the lens. So we're going to press and hold the on off button. And as you can see here, once we have data showing on the OLED screen, we know that we're on. My hand unit is set to channel one. Now what we wanna do here is make sure that our receiver motor is also set to channel one. So by looking at the OLED screen on the motor, we can see what channel we're on. Now to change the channel motor, you simply have to tap the channel button once. Tap it once, tap it once, and you have a total of 20 channels to choose from to find the best signal. So now that we have the motor and the hand unit on the same channel, we can go ahead and calibrate our lens. And to do that, we will press and hold the nerve button. So we'll go ahead and press and hold that. And as you can see, the motor begins to map out the lens and we're set. It only took a few seconds and now we have control over our lens. Now that we have our Remote Air 2 working, I'm gonna talk about a few features that you can change. Right now we have the motor operating on the slowest speed. Each motor has a total of three different speeds. Now to change the speed of the motor, we simply go back to the button underneath and by pressing the button five times in a row, we will change speeds. And as you can see, the indicator light here is constant. But once we press one, two, three, four, five, the indicator light begins to blink fast. So now, when we control our hand unit, we can really move fast. Now to change it to medium speed, we simply press it five times again. One, two, three, four, five. And now the indicator light it's still blinking, but it's blinking at a slower rate. So now we can operate at a medium speed. Another feature that we have with the Remote Air 2 is we have the ability to set A and B hard stops. So to do that, we simply find our A stop on the lens. And I'm going to set it at about 120 feet. When you find your A stop, simply press the nerve button once. Now we can move to our B stop and I'm going to set it to 20. And we'll hit the nerve button again. Now that we've done that, our entire focus knob has been mapped only between our A and B points. So as you can see here, we are limited to our A and B. Now to get out of these hard stops, we simply press the nerve button again once, and now we're wide open again. These features are both available on the single and dual channel hand units. Now let's talk about the dual channel. So we'll turn off our single channel hand unit, and now we gotta set up our rig for a dual channel system. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to loosen up this receiver motor. I'm gonna slide it back to the iris. Okay, tighten that into place. Now I'll grab the other standard motor pop out the 15 millimeter ring. Now I'll place this one onto the focus ring. Okay. Okay. As you can see here, we have power running directly to the receiver motor. In order to get both motors to work, we need to transfer our power and run it directly to the standard motor. Now from the standard motor, 
we will grab our Limo daisy chain cable and run this from the standard motor to the receiver motor. So now we're all set. We have power running to the standard motor, which is relaying that power through the daisy chain cable to the receiver motor. Our system is ready. So we'll power this on, press and hold the receiver motor button. We will press and hold the standard motor button. Okay, now both of these have indicator lights. As you can see here, the standard motor is set to green. We need to set that to red because we are mounted to the focus ring. So we will double tap that twice, one more time. Now we're set to red. The receiver motor is set to red, so we need to switch that to green. One, two. So now the receiver motor is set to green, which is set on the iris. Now that we have our motors ready, we will take our dual channel hand unit. We will match up the wireless channel. Right now we're set here to four, so I need to get the hand unit to four. One, two, three. And now we're all on the same channel. So now that we're all set, we have to calibrate the lens. And we do that by pressing and holding the nerve button. So we'll press and hold it. As you can see here, both rings, both motors are calibrating at the same time. Once the lens stops, we're ready to use it. Now the only difference between the single and dual channel is that we now have an additional ring located behind the focus knob that we can use to control our iris. And we have our focus knob that works the same on the front. Now in this unit, you still have the ability to set your A and B hard stops. To set your stops on the second channel, you use the zoom button located on the back. And it works the same. Simply pick your A stop, press the button once, move to your B stop, press the button again, and you have your A and B stops set. Press that button once more, and now you're back wide open. Finally, each hand unit is powered through an internal battery and can last up to 30 hours under normal temperatures. The Remote Air 2 is available now. We have the dual channel at $22.99 and the single channel at $15.99. For more information on PD Movie products, you can visit us at iCanCorp.com. I'm Julio Ramon. Thanks for watching.